Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another episode on the Vape Train Gaming Channel. So, tonight is a very special night. And the reason why is that I'm finally making another custom consumable video. So, we're going to get right down to it. So, this is going to be kind of a better format here. So, let's get it started. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the basics. How do you craft your own custom consumables? And this is for those people who have never done it before. So, what you do is you take, uh, let's say, whatever you want to put into a recipe put your citronol seeds in there we're we'll just do that as a example and we're going to take a note which is automatic learn learned now it's like always learned as far as i know with engrams now so you don't have to waste any on them they cost thatch and fiber so you can make yourself a note now you don't have to write anything on this note don't write anything on this note now you put the note into the cooking pot now it has to be a cooking pot. It can't be a campfire. And I don't think the industrial cookers can do them yet either. I'm not quite sure about that. I haven't really tried. I haven't tried to make a recipe in the custom, the uh, industrial cooker in a while. But best true way to do it is the cooking pot. So you slap a note in there and you go ahead and hit the tab or the button that says make recipe. Now it pulls up this nice little display here. So in the display, you have a few different options. You have a choice between food, or water or food or drink now with food you'll receive uh, stamina uh, stamina food health uh, whatever debuff you can get because I know sometimes you can like you can put poop in here and everything else that actually drains your health or causes torpor you can do narco berries and stuff like that as well um, but you won't receive water from this recipe now the drink recipe you'll receive health water the debuffs as I was saying before and uh, stamina. So you'll be able to have those in there and everything make it work. So you got your choice between the food and the water, and then you have choices on what you want the icon picture to look like. Now, the best thing I can tell you about doing this is you make sure that when you're trying to set up the colors, because I can't seem to find a way to copy it over or make it so you can make multiple recipes at the same time. Um, you, you just need to do this, okay? You'll, you'll do the colors, you'll do the title, the name, the description, everything else. So you select a number category, and it's just like whenever you're trying to color uh, weapons or armor and stuff. You get to flip through the colors here, and like, for example, I'm going to do all yellow. So we're just that one, that one, that one, that one. And this is some seeds. And you're going to hit make the recipe. So... It's going to create this recipe. It's not going to use the ingredients that are already in your cooking pot. All it's going to do is make the recipe. Now, as you can tell, it says it gives like food, health, stamina. It shows all the debuffs. It also shows your crafting skill. Now, whenever it comes to making your own personal consumable recipes, it all depends on your crafting skill. It used to be crafting speed and it did the same thing, but now it's crafting skill. They changed the name over. Um, now, I have it super high right now. I did a mind wipe so that I could put all of my points into the crafting skills so that I could have really good recipes. Now, I'll tell you, when you're early on and you don't have that many levels into your cooking skill, um, I say the best time to do it, try to make yourself a mind wipe right before you level up because there is the whole mind wipe uh, restrictions now. Um, right before you level up, go ahead and mind wipe and... Put all your points into that crafting skill so that you can start making the custom recipes. You can make them early on, but they don't seem to do nearly as much, and they require twice as many ingredients to even cause a decent effect. So, going from that, you also need to think about focal chili. Now, focal chili is something that actually boosts your crafting speed up by 100 points. So, focal chili takes Amar berries, Azul berries, Citronol, cooked meat, Mejo berries, and Tinto berries, and water, of course. Um... But you've got the recipe and stuff like that. You can find the recipe on the wiki or online, or you can get them from the Rockwell recipes and stuff that you receive from uh, killing dinosaurs or whatnot. Uh, so, this is aberration, as you can tell. Like, there's no mistaking where I am at. So, the best thing I can tell you is the mushrooms. The mushrooms are actually surprisingly valuable. Now, the mushrooms, yeah, you'll run across them all over the place. You've got the auric mushrooms. You also have the aggravic mushrooms. Uh, let, let, let's see. Look, We're, we'll go out and get some super quick. Super quick, super quick, super quick. Ha ha, bam. Super quick. As I said, super quick. So we've got 
about 50 of each. It's really the best thing I can tell you. Um, I'm going to be releasing a mushroom guide video very shortly, but this is really just a focus on the custom consumables. So, best thing about the custom consumables, healing, water, stamina. Best thing I can tell you about the mushroom series. Agravic is for healing and food. Um, the aqu aquatic is for water and healing. And then the auric is for stamina. Now, st the auric mushrooms do not, if you're trying to do a stamina brew, don't do it in the water section. Don't try to make a water recipe with auric mushrooms. You're just going to kill yourself. They drastically dehydrate you even after you make a recipe with them. Now, I spent a lot of time experimenting on this, and I finally came down with my favorite recipes for the Aberration map. Now, those actually involve... Da, 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 we've got them right here. Now, I, of course, as I've said in videos before, I, I don't like having custom recipes that are too heavy. Like, that makes no sense to me. Why would I want something to run me down? Now, the Agravic Mushrooms, the only thing that even comes close, like, is almost equal with the stats, is uh, raw honey. Which is crazy, considering you can get so much Agravic Mushrooms, they stack, they're amazing, compared to honey that takes up a single spot. So if you're in Aberration, don't bother making custom recipes with the honey, make it with the Agravic Mushrooms. Now, I like it, well-balanced, delicious, flavorful. Um, so this one, let's see, we'll go with the original recipe here. So the original recipe, we're going to drop that seed recipe because we don't need that. Nobody needs that. So I also, ta -ta -ta, for this one, I decided to add some cooked meat into the mix because the cooked meat just really did help. It helped me balance it out a little bit more, you know? So we've got, ta -ta -ta, the original shroom and egg sandwich so we're going to go through the whole process here guys we're going to go ahead and pop the node in there and this calls for 14 agravic mushrooms now as i was saying before about doing the coloring and stuff always make sure to get the colors and stuff done beforehand as if you want to for example we're going to go and make a recipe see how it shows the available ingredients in your inventory you can go through and you can add these over um, if I remember correctly, I wonder if they switched it up. Ah, they did. Excellent. So it used to be you can only do like one ingredient at a time. It was the biggest pain in my butt. Um, yeah, so we're not doing that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put... What? That's weird. So it transfers half by half. Okay. All right. All right. We got this. Boom, already done. So, 14 Agravic Mushrooms, 9 uh, cooked meat, and then if I remember correctly, the I did 2 dodo eggs. Now, the dodo eggs, the reason why I do that is because the dodo eggs, eggs in kibble are still the best things to throw into custom consumables, only because of the massive amount of stats that they use. I don't like them because they weigh way too much. Way too much. <laughs> they weigh too much uh, but yeah so the stats are like fours across the board for raw eggs and the dinosaur egg does not matter the egg can be a quetzal or a giga egg and it, there's will be no variance in the stats that you'll receive from it so this recipe right here has served me pretty well it's it's kind of heavy this one is a little on the heavy side i was looking for a recipe to make that would be about around a pound a piece and this one's about two pounds a piece. So, of course, what are you going to do? You're going to cut that recipe in half. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do... Da, da, da. We're going to do brown on the bun. And we're going to do... Let's see. I'll toss that in there so it looks like... Uh, like I don't know. This make it look like there's some eggs there. Maybe some mushrooms on the second part. Yeah, this one is going to be a tomato, of course. Um, then green for the lettuce. So, this is the new... What is that I call it? The steak and eggs sandy. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome recipes. No, just go ahead and do that anyways. If you haven't already, do it. So, made the recipe. Here it is. It came out. 
steak and egg sandy make sure to like make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> but see the grand totals of everything that it gives 308 food 211 health 288 stamina now i could have made a focal chili but i'm really not worried about it. 840 is pretty good um so that's a pretty substantial thing now as i said when you craft this it's going to turn out to be about two pounds um and when you're crafting these things you do it like uh a recipe you chuck it into the cooking pot with whatever your your ingredients are you make sure you've got a water jar that is full we're going to go ahead and fill this one up, toss that in there, and of course make sure you have a fuel source, make sure that is involved. Come on now, I know there's got to be something around here. There's nothing, seriously. What happened to my fuel source? Has... Ah. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull some spark powder down here, because I know I got it. Yeah, there you go. Let's do 20 just for right now. So... Light that bad boy up, see how it does the countdown, says it's crafting it. And boom, there we go. So 2.3 pounds, and all the stats that we talked about before. This thing will be great. Now, the thing is about custom consumables is it is over about a minute or two minutes or something like that, that it does a steady progression of the stats. They do not instantly or super quickly fill up your food your stamina or anything like that it's kind of like a continuous um introduction of it uh, just a, a buff over time so that's great and all makes things easier if you're out and about running around you can just like eat one of these things and you'll just top off everything once it gets all all the stats full it stops so keep that in mind guys it's not going to constantly do it Eating more of them will not speed up the process, so don't do it. It's not worth it. Now, we're going to pop over to the next one, the lighter sand shroom sandy. This is basically the one from before, but it's at half of the uh, materials to make it lighter. Because, as I said, I don't like having heavy, uh, heavy sandwiches and stuff. Because who wants to have, like, 50 pounds worth of food and it'd be, like, 10 pieces of food? It's the dumbest thing ever. So, one egg... And we're going to do uh, seven mushrooms and then four cooked meat. Boom. So we're going to go ahead and make the recipe. So since this one is a lighter color, I did lighter bread for it as well. Um, so we're basically going to follow the same color scheme here as before, which makes it kind of look like it's an egg sandwich. A lighter side egg sandy. Don't let hunger. Eh. Hunger. Weigh. You down. Bam. So, now we have my two sandwich recipes for the aberration. Um. So these things actually work out really well. The stats are pretty good. And of course, if y'all later on, you're already max level and you turn around and do the whole crafting skill as high as it can go, these stats are going to go a lot higher. It's going to be a lot better for you. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on doing a aquatic recipe or a drink recipe off of the aquatic mushrooms. And I'm going to go ahead and craft one more note because I am going to show you a grand total of five recipes tonight. So we're going to make sure that we've got enough here. Um, let's go on to the next one here, guys. And I know a few people on my last, last custom tutorials, recipe tutorials video were asking if they actually needed to, uh, like, after you created the recipe, whether you needed to be that same crafting skill afterwards to cook the recipe. And the answer is no. Once you make the recipe, anybody can make it. So your buddy can make it. Uh, your ally can make it. Anybody who has the ability to cook, which if you have a cooking pot, you do, they can make the same exact recipe that you did. So we're going to go ahead and get this started on this one. So we're going to start with the first one here, which is the aquatic one. So I did 18, um, 18 aquatic mushrooms. And the reason why I'm doing this, and you see how this is about to expire, so I'm going to go ahead and pop one more in there so I don't have to worry about it. So the reason why I'm doing 18 is because I realized with the mushrooms to get a 
one like solid pound from having the mushrooms in a recipe, I needed nine. Nine mushrooms, and it would make it at two pounds if they were by themselves in the recipe. Or at one pound if they were in by themselves in a the recipe. So I decided to do it this way, do it by multiples of nine to get it to have the same weight that I want or the weights that I need. So let's go ahead, two dodo eggs, and that's all this one has. Super simple, super easy. Make the recipe. We're going to go ahead and cut, cop, yeah, hop to the food section real quick. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, let's give this one blue water because it's a gold pimp cup. Aquatic brew. And remember, make sure to check out my old custom consumable recipe video. It's still getting hits and people are still loving it. All right, so that went ahead and made another one. So this one should have the exact same stats, 230, 232. What changed? Oh, guys, I think I realized what changed. I leveled up. Yeah, I leveled up, and I went ahead and threw one more point in here compared to the original first time I made this recipe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a smaller version of this, uh, one that's not going to weigh too much. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, by the way, uh, when you're cooking food, I was wrong. You don't have to put meat in there to cook, or water in there to cook the food. You need the water in there to make the drinks. Sorry, lost train of thought on that one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop the note in there. Now, I've noticed that every time I craft or make a recipe, I can't turn around and put more stuff in the cooking pot afterwards. I can't put the recipe right back in there and start cooking with it. I have to exit out and get back into the cooking pot. Uh, I don't know if that's something anybody else has ran into, but that's what I've been running into. So we're going to do the lighter version of this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to shrink this down to half the ingredients. Um, so before, it gave 232 water, it gave 218 stamina, 115 health. That's fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to test this one out real quick. And we're going to do, 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 do. I think we're going to do yellow on this one in a purple cup. Lighter pimp cup. Pimp. There we go, guys. All right. Not going to even add a description. We don't need it. So having that. 116 water, 109 stamina, 58 health, fantastic. Now, last thing we're going to do here is we're going to make an Agravic uh, or an Auric mushroom uh, recipe. So we're going to leave that dodo egg in there. I feel this is going to work out nicely. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, let's do 19 of these, or 18 of these bad boys. So... This is going to be our stamina cake. And this thing is going to be like yellow all throughout. Except for like one spot's going to be brown. Whatever. <laughs> Here, we'll make that one cream colored. All right. So this is the Oryx Stam. Oh, yeah. You can also switch between the different types of pictures. We're going to make this a Stam cake. Now, I know I didn't say that before i'm sorry should have said it get over it <laughs> get over it it's a minor like thing because half the time these pictures don't matter because it's not like it looks like a cake when you eat it um, but yeah so you go ahead and you do that stamp cake run like crazy so with this stamp cake it should be extremely high because the auric mushrooms are ridiculous for stamina Ooh, look at that. All right, so this thing's giving 95 food, 63 health, and 628 stamina. That is ridiculous. If you are running, that thing will keep you going for a while. Uh, I, I'm not sure how well that'll work out for you. I don't suggest it, but it does help you out in a really tight spot. You don't want to eat stem berries because they dehydrate you. This cake will not dehydrate you, and it will slow, steadily restore your stamina as you're moving along. So, there you go, guys. This is the custom consumable video for 
Aberration. Now, Aberration is absolutely wonderful, absolutely gorgeous new map. I am super stoked to be here. Uh, but y'all tune in for the next couple of videos. And this is Vape Train signing off. Y'all make sure to come back and see me again. And uh, catch you next time. Ha <laughs> ha!